Hi everybody, my name is Manuel and I'm one of the product managers in the business unit test and measurement at Kistler. Today I'm going to speak about these powerful measuring devices over here, the so-called dynamometer. I'm going to explain what dynamometers are, what these products are capable of and also how a measuring chain looks like. So let's get started. A dynamometer is a high-end measuring device to measure the force and the moment that is applied on a unit under test. Due to the setup of a dynamometer, we are able to measure the three axes of a force vector, fx, fy, and fc. We are also able to calculate the moment mx, my, and mc based on the force applied and the position of the sensors in the dynamometer. Dynamometers are the preferred solution for demanding and highly dynamic testing applications. Let me demonstrate what they are capable of. This is a heavy duty dynamometer capable to measure up to 60 kN. I just drop this little screw onto the dynamometer and let's see what happens. Do you see that? We are able to detect the impact of a screw being dropped on a heavy duty dynamometer which is offering a measuring range of 60 kN. And the signal is not just blurry, no, it is razor sharp. Well, there is no magic behind. The use of piezoelectric technology offers enormously large measuring ranges. Depending on a dynamometer, up to five decades can be covered. Small forces or impacts, like the one with the screw being dropped, can be measured easily. At the same time, we are achieving very high eigenfrequencies, sometimes greater than 15 kHz, like with this little dynamometer here. There is no other force measuring device achieving these levels of eigenfrequencies. These frequencies are achieved by the very rigid design with a base plate and a top plate in combination with very rigid piezoelectric force sensors. The force sensors are placed between the plates and preloaded such that these characteristics are achieved. Most dynamometers are based on four piezoelectric triax force sensors. In contrast to some force sensors, these dynamometers are ready to measure. Because they come preloaded, you do not need to think about mounting the sensor into your structure, preloading and therefore recalibrating the unit in situ. Forget about that. Take a dynamometer out of the box, put it onto a stiff structure, mount the unit you want to test onto the dynamometer, connect the dynamometer with a charge amplifier and acquire signals with a software. That's it. Pretty simple, right? I hope this brief introduction about dynamometers was helpful for you. We will be back soon with a second video about dynamometers in which we will explain the different types of dynamometers and, very important, which criteria one has to consider when choosing a dynamometer. Stay tuned. If you have any questions about dynamometers in the meantime, please contact us. Our sales guys and application specialists are very happy to help you. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you again soon with another video.